Internet. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an email account on GoDaddy and then I'm going to show you how you can hook that into whatever mail package you have on your local desktop in your home. First off type in user ID and password, hit go. This is where people get confused. If this is not showing right here in the my products area, click on my products, then click on email, then come over here and say use credit under personal email. Every domain and hosting plan gets one free email account. Then what you want to do over here you can see select the domain account you wish to associate. So I'm going to pick one that I don't have an email. Selected it. Hit continue. Email added successfully. It may take several minutes for your new product to become active in your account. When it's ready log into your account manager and set up your new email. Hit close. As you can see, it didn't take anywhere near as long. It's already here on the screen. New account. So I want to set up account. Add email addresses. View all. So I'm going to do an add email address. Here's the new account that I just created right here. I'm going to scroll over here. You can see one available. Click add. Email address. Type in whatever user ID name you want there. Got that. Type in random password. Space for mailbox available. Make this mailbox a catch-all. What that means is everything that goes to New Just In or whatever your domain name is will go directly here. So if somebody types in happy person at newjustin.com, it'll go there. If they type anything in, it'll go there. So we're going to say yes, we want to do that. Hit OK. And it's set up. Ready to go. Not only is the domain that I set up set up, but any address or anybody who sends any mail to this domain at all will go directly to me. So let's say that I want to now take this information and put it into my personal desktop. And this works on Macs, PCs, anything. Because almost every email client system is set up exactly the same. So how do I find out how I'm able to connect to this? It's pretty easy. What you want to do first is come over here to launch webmail. As you can see here, this little envelope with an arrow. Click on that. And a lot of people can't find this, but basically what you have to do is put your mouse over help, email client settings, click on that. And here you will see your incoming POP3 server address right there and in your outgoing. And I think these are always the same. I'll zoom in real close pop.secureserver.net, I believe, on GoDaddy, this is always the results that you'll get because every account I have there, that's the way they work. Okay, now I'll go over all the information that you need to set up your email account in your client email package that's on your desktop. Well, you, what you have to understand is most email clients are different. So I'll just list everything you need to know to set up the account. All email clients have an option, however, in the top bar menu that's called Add Account or Add Mail Account or something like that. What you want to do is click that. Then you want to choose the option of setting up a POP3 account. Your incoming server is going to be pop.secureserver.net. Your outgoing server is going to be S is in Sam, M is in Mail, T is in Top, P is in Pot out.secureserver.net. You'll need the right email and address and password, obviously, to set up the GoDaddy account. Choose the option, don't log in with secure password authentication, and then choose the option, check server requires authentication. Then normally under a tab labeled advanced in the window that's open on your screen, you have to set the port for your incoming and outgoing server. Under outgoing, you want to set it for 465 if it's not already set. And for incoming, you want to set that for 995. And that's pretty much all it takes to set up the whole entire account on GoDaddy. I know it's kind of a weird tutorial. I'm doing it only because I was asked this question many, many times. I wanted somewhere to point people to. Till next time.